If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, it's the $1 budget. Uh, today we're going to talk about these things. This is something I mentioned last week in my episode, the uh, Black Friday at Dollar Tree episode. And I mentioned that uh, James DeRuvo told me that you could use these iPad sleeves found at Dollar Tree for various uh, storage purposes. He told me uh, one thing he was doing was he was using this to store his gray cards. And if you remember these, you get these for free. Uh, if you look at my uh, Perfect Exposure episode, you can find out how to do that. These are basically uh, white, black, and gray pieces of laminate. Um, but instead of having them loose, you can now store them in these uh, tablet sleeves. Again, you can find at Dollar Tree uh, for one buck. I also have wondered out loud if they would also work for uh, the Frugal Slate. And uh, sure enough, they are just the right size for that, and as well as some dry erase pens. So, uh, pretty good idea. Thanks for pointing that out, James. And uh, now I've got a way of storing all this stuff without it just being everywhere. So, great idea, not too much money. Next up we've got this. This is uh, a Special Ops Combat Gear Pistol. I found this for $5 at Dollar General. And uh, this uh, is actually pretty cool. One thing I noticed in about this was, you may have remembered from about a year ago that Noptop had an episode about finding something similar, uh, only it looked like a Beretta 92 uh, pistol. But I like this one because Dollar General also had the Beretta looking ones, which are kind of camoed uh, paint jobs, but this looks like a Glock, and I hadn't seen anything like this before. And it's basically, it's the same uh, thing. I mean, it has sound effects built into it. And the slide moves back when you shoot it. Um, now, I didn't really care for, I mean, I kind of like the weaver rail stuff, but it just doesn't look real good, especially then you've got to take care of this huge barrel tip, which doesn't look very realistic. You have to paint that black, but it's just too big. So I prefer to kind of get rid of this. Of course, then you're still stuck with this ginormous orange tip on the end. But it also comes with this uh, cool silencer thing. So you plug this in and it actually change the sound effect which doesn't really matter. What matters is that the slide still moves around. It gives the actor something to react to. And it actually looks pretty good. I mean, you could paint this black um, or just cover it with something like hockey tape or gaffer's tape or electrical tape. That probably wouldn't look very good. Um, the problem with this is that there is no hole in the barrel, so you're gonna have to drill a hole there. And if you're wondering where to put the hole, you could always do the old crisscross thing, but sometimes it's easy to have an off-center hole. Uh, I recommend you get something like this, get a washer, put it in about the right spot, trace a hole there, and then you know exactly where you want to drill. And then just paint it black. But I mean, it does uh, work pretty cool. Has the has the sliding barrel, even though it's not, it doesn't slide as much as the Beretta model. But I kind of like this because, uh, again, only five bucks looks a pretty good prop. You really don't even have to paint this, uh, the pistol part, unlike the Beretta model. Uh, but you could paint this very easily quickly, um, or just again, wrap it in hockey tape, and I think it would work pretty well. So look for this in a future video, because I think I'm going to use it. It also comes with this uh, really lame, <laughs> supposed to be like a red dot type of sight, but it's not at all. And uh, it fits onto the, you know, this uh, weaver rail thing here, which again, I, I didn't care for. Um, this whole thing really doesn't impress me that much. I mean, it's cheap. It's a cheap, you know, prop pistol, so why am I complaining? This light doesn't even work, so I would just get rid of this part and just use this because it's cool, even though uh, without the silencer, the sound effect is cooler. But you're gonna change that in post anyway, right? So who, so who cares? All right, and finally, uh, we've got from Dollar Tree again, this giant doorstop. Now, last time I brought doorstops onto this show, I pointed out that they'd be great for using as a doorstop when you are loading gear or unloading gear, moving it into a building because it's always handy to have a doorstop that you can just prop a door open instead of have somebody hold it open or you try and hold, hold it open with your foot or whatever. And people made fun of me because, you know, these are the doorstops previously. They made fun of me because I said, oh look, here's a doorstop and it works as a doorstop. But other people told me that uh, this also works really well to prop cameras up at ground level. So if you have a camera, Here's my Sony NEX5N, and you want to do a low angle shot on the ground. You can set it on these doorstops, and you now have a uh, low angle 
You can do this on either one. Um, this, I think, these narrow ones, I think, actually work better for the Sony because the lens is what sits on it. But if you have a camcorder or something that has a larger, narrower body, um, it would probably work better on this larger model. So this one is a dollar, again, at Dollar Tree. You can get two of these uh, for a dollar for the smaller versions, which work better with the Sony or other, I think, interchangeable lens cameras. Uh, where the lens is the largest thing here. Maybe if you had a, a larger, like a Canon body or something, this might work better. But either way, that's a good use for it and uh, good use for those. And that's it. So you can get all this stuff uh, for a dollar or just a little more. And oh, and these two. So check it out Dollar Tree, Dollar General, you know, all a dollar, Walmart, you probably find similar things. But that's it. Have fun.